What's up, YouTube? Three Pedal J. I'm sitting in the truck in front of the garage, and we're gonna get started on a crazy, uh, no focus video today. I don't know what to even call this one. Um, I have to do some work on the daily. I got to do some work on the big boy Ram truck. I got to try to do some work on Frankenstein. A little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, get started on things. So come along with me for one of my crazy uh weekends this weekend has been absolutely nuts i had to go to efi specialties and help out with uh installing a lift yesterday um i don't even know what i did friday friday i slept because i worked all day and it was crazy um and then we did some work on the day pos daily yesterday as well um i have oil for the pos daily and a filter and some plugs plugs have gotten super super expensive these days like it's crazy i had to get the uh big boy ram truck washed and vacuumed out because it was absolutely filthy um and then i had to empty out all my oil cans because i have to change the oil and the pos daily so let's get started oh and for some reason well i know what the reason is um the big boy ram truck seems to be having some issues cranking so i'm going to throw the trickle charger on it for about an hour see if i can kind of restore it the battery back to how it was um but if not then looks like i'm gonna have to spend some money on uh a battery that i don't want to spend money on and then i also got to do an unboxing for you guys so let's just get started stay tuned and clean take you guys on the life of three pedal j never never really ever done with anything always busy always busy somebody said they wanted more uh shop videos so i don't know if this is gonna do well or not but this is this is how things get done around here. If I don't get it done, then it doesn't get done. It's still recording. I hope this is gonna, gonna work. There's a little bit of organization in the garage, not much, but a little bit. I try to do the best I can. Let that cook for an hour. And then we gotta jack the, jack the POS ram or POS daily up. As you can see, three pedal J. POS daily, let's go. So yesterday at my buddy Mike's house, we replaced this uh, plug on the injector because I had a bunch of misfires. Uh, this plug on the injector and then all three of these on the injector they were really brittle and old and whatnot and need to be replaced in the car the truck picked up so much um still has a misfire on number one which is why i got new plugs to put in it and to rule that out uh the plug wires are decently okay but you know we'll see we'll we'll clean all of that up and 
see what needs to be done. I also got to look for a, an exhaust leak that I have here. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, looking for that. And then if I have enough energy after I'm done with all this stuff, um, I want to start tearing Frankenstein apart. So at least get the intake off and work on getting the intercooler and the piping for the turbos and stuff. But I have... I ordered, like, remember, I don't know if you guys remember in the last video, but I'll just remind you that I need pistons for, for this deal. So I ordered a piston from MMX and it came and I was hoping that I could get the piston and slide it in here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that because the piston that they sent, it was just the piston. There's no rest pin. Um, and I need to get a rod. So I'm going to take this one out. Let's see if this will focus a little better. I'm going to take this one out, which is the number eight piston um, today, and I'll swap out the rod. You can see all of the, the markings on here. I'll put the new one in. Um, and then what that'll also do for me is that'll give me the part number for the rod so that I can order that this week. And then uh, I'll order another piston from from uh, Mal, or from MMX, and hopefully... Hopefully when I call them up, I'll order the piston from them and get a wrist pin with it as well. So now we're gonna go into the house and I'll show you what I'm talking about, how it did not come with what I needed. And this is not a dig on MMX. I assumed that when you order a piston, they, they send a wrist pin. Um, I've used other companies and I've ordered single pistons and I've had to tell them not to send a wrist pin because they automatically send it with it. Um, so here we go. So I, I clearly already opened this up guys. Here's the, the piston. I'm not going to put my address on there. Um, you guys can see that it's from MMX. Dave Weber is the owner of MMX. It says modern muscle extreme on there. I don't know if that's showing up or not, but it says modern muscle extreme. And I open it up. And you can see that these are a mile piston. Like their drop-in pistons are from mile. Um, oh yeah, it has all my information on there. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's just a part number. Then you open up the piston. They put a box inside. Of it. They use a box, a box, a box. You gotta love it. Then open it up. Very high quality so far. Very cool. I mean, mile is a very well-known piston manufacturer, but. I love the fact that it's all boxed up. When I got it, I was looking for it. I was like looking at it and I was like, okay, it's awesome. Where's the wrist pin? Look, no wrist pin. Go figure. So when you order these drop-ins, maybe it's because I ordered a single one. I don't know. Um, maybe that's why I don't have a wrist pin with it because I ordered a single piston. And for the single pistons, they are assuming that you already have a wrist pin, which wouldn't have been a bad assumption. Like, um, probably should have had the wrist pin, but I bought this engine used, as you know, from a buddy of mine. So I don't have the wrist pin because he took it out and I don't have the rod. So more fun times, but we're getting close. We're getting close to, uh, the forged six, four spare, um, one piston down. Now I gotta get a piston and rod. And obviously I have to put cam in it. I'm gonna put all new bearings in it. Um, I'm gonna have to get new rings because yeah, I'm gonna have to get new rings. But overall, I am very, very happy with what's going on. And the truth of the matter is I might even be able to reuse one of the one of these right here because I have wrist pins like I have wrist pins for days. I just want to make sure it's the right ones that coincide because of the balance, right? Like these are drop-ins, so you don't have to have the crankshaft balance to the piston and then the rods. So I want to use what MMX spec'd out because it's supposed to be a balanced rotating assembly. All you got to do is just drop them in and go. That changes your, your setup to a forged rotating assembly. So we're going to go with that. Next up, got to jack this deal up, got to get it in the air, and then uh, 
start hanging. So I'm gonna get this all situated, get it jacked up. I'll get it uh, supported under jacks, and then uh, I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys. Unlike a, a Hemi, these old school Magnum base blocks use a 16 millimeter, and I already loosened it up because I don't have a lot of time. But. Oil's coming out. I'll clean this up here in a minute. This only has five quarts of oil. So very different than uh, a Hemi setup. And I haven't changed this thing in I don't know how long. So I'm sure this oil is filthy and disgusting. But I'll get back with you guys uh, once I'm getting ready to put everything back in and start working on stuff. More to come. do it with one hand I'm clearly screwing this deal up as you can see I spilled it everywhere all over the exhaust manifold all over the head right there but it's because I was trying to do it while I was filming but once I put the phone down got it all in there and not a drop was wasted so I'll clean this up now as best I can using some shop rags trying to get as much of it off it's gonna burn off uh, once I start the car um, And then we'll just go from there. I don't know. I probably should put a piece of Evo on this deal Looking at it. It definitely needs one um, Just a lot of Neglect on this truck a lot of neglect and it's just because you know You get new stuff and you forget to take care of your old stuff But I was always taught to take care of that stuff that got you to where you're at so I'm trying to do a little better with the PLS daily because I really enjoy this truck my kids ask me all the time why I still have it why haven't I sold it and the truth of the matter is, is I learned how to build cars with this truck so it's kind of hard for me to let go um have I had so many plans for this deal and I have so much stuff for it that it's just I don't know it's, it's really hard for me to let go I want to complete the vision for it um then maybe I'll sell it. I don't know what I'll do, but for right now, I'm gonna keep keep it in the in the stable as a backup vehicle, and then uh, we'll see. I mean, it may come a time where I outgrow it. I thought that time is was already here, but clearly, um, as you can see, it's still around, and I'm still trying to trying to be. A decent owner to it i'm still trying to decently take care of it uh all right guys so i'm on the passenger side which is the easiest side to to do and i am doing the last one so as you can see i popped that out um and now i'm trying to do this with one hand so it might be a bit of a challenge for me let's see all right, got it loose. So, uh, I did the other side first because that's a pain in the neck on that side. There's a lot of stuff in the way. Um, and I didn't want to use any profanity in this video. Uh, I have enough of that. So, I'm going to get this out and show you guys what this bear looks like. They've been um, pretty trash, actually, so... I probably should have did this a long time ago, and I really need to replace the wires too, which I'll do. Um, I thought the wires were pretty decent, but I'm not. But there it is right there. That's the number two. It's pretty lean, pretty lean, and then you see all the sutter on the bottom of it. Um, just just not good. You can see the rust build up, so it's been in there for a while. Uh, let me get this camera pulled it out yeah these have been in there for a while so this thing was, was definitely in need of i mean obviously brand new same part number putting it in uh, a little bit different than the hemis guys uh on the side right along the exhaust manifold i didn't run drive this car today so it's really easy but normally when you do this when they're hot they're a bear to deal with so i just kind of hand tighten it first 
And then I take my wrench, my ratchet, if I can get it to go in. And then I'll tighten it up to how, like, I know what the feel is. I don't know. There, I'm sure there's a torque spec for it. Um, I've been building these 318s and 39s since I was 18 years old. So I kind of know. I don't really follow the torque specs anymore. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it for that. Uh, where the hell did I put the... Oh, here it is hanging out. Um, as you can see, like, I don't know if this is showing up on camera or not, but inside here, I'm going to push it out. Uh stand by let me see if i can do this on one hand probably not i can angle to have this here if i can get this to stay where i need to stay all right so what i'm doing here is you can push these and they slide so you can see how it connects you can see how it connects so you can just push that on top you're gonna listen for the click I might have it too far up. There it is. It clicked. So then you just push that back down for the protection of it. And it's good. So it's on there. All the other ones are done. Um, I just got to look for the exhaust leak. Weld that up wherever the hole is. I'm going to end up swapping out this manifold for the turbo manifold that I have and it'll put the turbo somewhere over here in this open area. There's a ton of space. Let me get this way. It'll put it somewhere in this area. I'll put a turbo blanket on it and then if I got to trim the inner fender or whatever I got to do, I'll do that to kind of make it work so that I can run the exhaust down here and then out normally. Um, and then I have a header to go on this side uh, as you can see, this is this is the side that's like really crammed, so it's a pain. Um, I'll probably pregame and get this one, this side done with the header first, and then we'll do the the turbo fold. But I got to pull the engine up so that I can modify the oil pan for the drain back because we're gonna do gravity feed on this deal. We're gonna let it come down and just kind of drain right in there into the front of the the oil pan. That way, there's no pump or anything needed. And then uh, we'll come off of the oil pressure sensor um, port in the back back here for the feed. And that'll be it for this guy. It's gonna be only going to see uh, 7 to 8 PSI. And this is not uh, me going crazy. Th these engines aren't very strong. So I can't imagine that this particular 3.9 can hold more than 8 PSI. I'm even nervous with that. So I'll just have a gate spring in there of, of seven PSI. And if it makes eight, it makes eight. If not, then seven will be where it's at. But that's gonna do it for that. So with that said, three pedal J saying, thanks for watching and I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm gonna try to get you guys more content, like I said, and I'm gonna keep, keep at it and we'll get Frankenstein back to his glory. Uh, rev her up, dump the clutch, grab a gear, disappear. Peace.